So in this video, we're going to look at how we would put signage onto our building. So if you're doing a commercial building, uh, it's very likely you want to have some kind of signage written onto the side of it somehow. Uh, very, very simple, this one, and very easy to do. Uh, so what you want to do to start off with is pick the uh, elevation that you want to be working in. So I'm going to put this on the south elevation, uh, and this is where I want to place my signage. And when we're in our architecture tab, just move along to the middle, we've got this model text uh, button. So we'll click on that. And then it'll ask you which work plane you want to select. I just like to use this picker plane. So there's a standard default one that should come up, this picker plane here. And then click OK. And then what's gonna, what you need to do is just click on the plane that you're actually going to um, work on. So I'm going to work on this wall here. So I just click there. You get this text box come up. So change what it is you want to call it. So I'm just going to call this one um, Revit. Nice and uh, creative there. So um, with my, my text, I'm just going to place it. Don't worry if it's not the right size yet, we can change all this in a minute. Um, so if you wanted it to be smaller or larger, you can change the size of these. Uh, so once you've got it placed, just click on it again so it turns blue. And in the properties box over to here, we can see what what it is, it, um, uh, what the properties about this particular signage. So we can see the, the, what the text is written is. Um, we can see the, the alignment and we've got um, materials. We can change the material, what it's going to be. So if you want it to be timber or metal or concrete, uh, we've got this depth that's how far it sticks out from the wall so if you wanted it to stick out only a little bit you could change that from 150 mil down to I don't know, i'd probably keep it around about um, 50 millimeters maybe something like that um, uh, but what you want to do be able to do is change the, the size of it so at the moment we've got this model text and it's 600 millimeters and that's the height of it it's 600 mil high um, so uh, but that's the only one that's in here so to create one that's say 300 mil half the size of that we need to go into edit type and then we're going to go into duplicate and we're going to call this one um, 300 mil. I'll just get rid of the two off the end. Uh, click OK. And we can change our font if we want to keep it something different. I'm going to keep this one the same. So we could change the font to something different. Uh, the text size, really important after we've duplicated, we change this text size uh, to what we want it to be. So this is going to be 300 mil. And then click OK. And you can see now this one has changed. But what we've also got now is we've got two different ones up here. So I could now change this one back to 600. Um, and if I wanted to do some more um, writing, just hit the escape key, come out of that, go through the same process again, model text, pick a plane, OK. And maybe I want to pick on this one down here. I'm going to go uh, rev it again. Click OK down here once it's placed just click on it so it goes blue and again i can change that one now to 300 mil so that's how you change the sizes um, and have lots of different sizes of, of text going into there and again when you look in 3d you can now see if i get the right side you can now see the different sizes so this one here is one that's sticking out 150 mil so if i click on that you can see it's on the left here in the, in the properties box it sticks out 150 mil this one at the top here only sticks out 50 mil because that's what I sent that one to. Uh, so you can change those um, dimensions as well. You can also go in and change the materials. Um, it could be quite fun to see what different things they are. And that's how you put signage onto the side of a building.